All right, everybody, we have our parts for our will assembly created. So now all we got to do, it sounds simple, right? All we got to do now is just put them all together. And I was looking at this and I'm like, you know what? If they really wanted to just make a toilet paper holder with a roll of toilet paper, they should have just named it that. Because that is pretty much exactly what this looks like. Except we have like a real skinny roll of toilet paper here. But I digress. I'm going to, we're going to make an assembly drawing, right? So we're going to go to new... We're gonna go to, we're gonna still make sure we stay in metric. We're gonna go to our assembly section here. So I'm gonna look for assembly, um, standard, millimeters. There's so many options here. It's like, which one do you choose? We're gonna go to standard, millimeters, IAM, which is inventor assembly. We're gonna hit the create button. We're gonna wait on it a little tad bit. So then what I wanna do is I'm gonna place Think about which place is, you, you know, kind of your your part that's going to hold all the other ones together or one that's, you know, going to support all the other ones. So I'm going to place the base plate. Duh. I'm going to place it first. I'm going to click open. I'm just going to pick anywhere. Just kind of plop this bad boy down. And then that really isn't really what I wanted it to look like. What you could do, let me let me um, let me let me give you another option. Let's delete this. If I want to place this thing, let me place another one, right? So, base point, base plate, open. So before you put it down, right, you can you can right click on it, and you see these. So you can rotate this. So if I want to rotate this to where it's not standing straight up and down, I want to rotate it. And the X, or long, I want to rotate it along the X axis. So I would click rotate X 90 degrees. And so now it's kind of standing up the way I want it to. And so now I can, I can uh, left click and place it down. Now I only need one of those. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit OK. Um, so then you, also if you look in our view cube, it's, it's kind of crazy looking. So um we can we can fix that but um i want to right click on this i'm going to make it where it says current view as home i'm going to go fit to view here and then instead of this being the bottom i'm going to click the bottom where it says the bottom and i'm going to right click it and then i'm going to say set current view as front so now it kind of looks more kind of like what i want it but um super important is the first piece that you put down you kind of get it oriented the way you want it to be. I'm going to right click on this piece here. You want to make sure that you check on the grounded. So now that part is not going to move as we kind of um, constrain other pieces to this one. This piece is not going to move. It's going to stay right where it is. Um, I kind of found that out the hard way when I was learning Inventor. Um, pieces were moving all kind of crazy and getting all kind of out of angles and weird on me. So. Um, just make sure that you have this piece grounded. And if you look over in your browser section here, you'll know that that piece is grounded because it has like a little push pin on it. So yeah, now we're good to go. So now we can start bringing in our other pieces. So if, if, the, if I'm going to build this thing, the next one that I want to put down is going to be my, my two side brackets. So I'm going to place and I want to bring in my bracket. I'm just going to bring in one for now. Um, again, it's kind of oriented, kind of funky, so I can right click it here. I can rotate it along the X to stand it up. I can also right click again and I can rotate it along the Y. And so now it kind of, I, I can just place this one here on this side. Um, or which way, oh, it goes over here, right? This one is going to go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I can just place it down once. I, I could actually bring in two, actually plop this down. I know they're facing the same direction. I hit OK here. We can we can fix that in just a minute. So figure out kind of what the orientation of these need to be. So they need to fa face out. Are they facing in? What's going on here? So 
it looks like this the rib part is going to be facing on the outside so we need to constrain our brackets to the base plate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my, con my receiver, your relationships panel. I'm going to click on constrain. I'm going to click on this insert type. And then I'm going to click, I'm going to, I want to look underneath this part, I think. So I want to grab this circle here. I'm going to click on this circle here. And then I'm going to go back to my previous view. So I want that circle to be right on top of this circle here. And so you hear a clunky noise, hit apply. And so I think this is still gonna be able, it, it's still stuck on that circle to circle, but you can rotate it around. So what we need to do is I'm just gonna kind of rotate it off that object for now so I can go back to my constraint. I'm gonna do that same thing. So insert, I'm gonna look underneath it. I wanna click on this kind of the circle down on the bottom and then I'm going to click on this circle on top over here. Just got to view, you got to orientate your view cube to where you can see it. So I'm going to click this circle here. It clocks it in, right? Hit apply. Make sure you hit apply. And so now if you click on it, left click it and hold it down, try to move it. You, you see it can't move anywhere. I can't raise it up. I can't move it left or right. So I know that that piece is, is locked in there. So basically I'm gonna to try to do the same thing with the other side. The only thing on this is we need to kind of flip it or this one around um, to rotate it around the other way. So I think that we can, I think when we constrain it, it'll kind of fix itself. So let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna to go to constrain here. You could also mirror that over, but um, I don't wanna to get too fancy. We're gonna to go to insert here. I'm going to click on this bottom, or I'm going to click on the bottom base, the top circle. So that's going to line up with over here, underneath this piece here, that circle. Let's see what we got here. So I'm going to hit apply. So now I can drag, I can click this and just kind of, kind of move this around a little bit so that I can kind of still see these two circles that I need. So again, I'm going to go to constrain. I'm going to use the insert type. I want to click this top circle and make sure that it snaps onto this bottom circle. Hit apply. I'm going to try to, let me see, I'm going to try to left click that one and drag it, move it around. It's not going to move on me. Make sure that from the front view, I'm going to go to view and click on technical illustration. That way I know these are kind of, I can see the lines where I know these are lined up. So there's that. So we're kind of moving along. Now let me go back to shaded with edges. So now we're going to put like the toilet paper cylinder roll thing in place. So I'm going to bring in uh, the axle. All right, so I'm gonna go under, um, I'm gonna place. I'm gonna go to place again. I wanna bring in the axle piece. I'm gonna click open. So notice it's standing straight up. So I wanna rotate, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna hit rotate around the Y axis to where it's, you know, this direction. I'm gonna left click to place it. I'm gonna right click and hit okay. There's a lot of clicking, left click and right clicking. So. I got that kind of lined up in the right direction. So what I want to do is to get this kind of lined up in the middle of this piece, um, I need to I need to constrain this a little different. So I want to turn on the the plane that's going right through the center of this axle, and also one that's going right through the center of the base, to, so I can line those two up. So if I go under my axle little plus sign, I'm going to click on the origin. I'm gonna look for the plane that goes right through the middle. So this, I'm gonna right click on the X, Y plane and turn on the visibility of that one. I'm gonna to go to my base plate, kind of open up these options here. So I wanna also wanna right click on the, the Y, Z plane on this one, turn on the visibility. So then I need to kind of line these two planes up so I know that they're, that they're kind of centered. So I wanna to go to constrain I want to go to this first option where it says mate 
and the arrows are important kind of which one is it going to be so um if i if i kind of hover my mouse over this plane you see that 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 arrow is kind of coming towards us and this one is going um towards us as well so i need to use this flush option so i'm gonna click this plane click this plane and it kind of clocks in i'm gonna hit apply if you look at the front view you can kind of see that they're kind of lined up over the top of each other. I can still move this thing kind of up and down and kind of going kind of crazy, but they're still going to be lined up. Like even if I move it way over here, it looks like they're not lined up at all. But if you look at the front view, you can kind of see that, they're, yes, they're still lined up. So anyway, um, so then all I need to do now is just constrain the center axis of both. So I'm going to go to... Again, the uh, the mate. Look for the center. The center. Let's see, where are you at? Um, uh, what did I do? What I I clicked around too much and and I lost it. So let me hit escape here. Let me start this again. I'm gonna go to constrain. There we go. So now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna click on this kind of dashed center line here. And I click on this center line here. So they kind of it kind of lines those up. Hit apply. And then if you look at the front view, you can see that they are kind of equal on both sides. I can't move it up or down. I can't move it left or right. So that's I can still turn this axle um, around in a circle, and that's okay. That's that's kind of what we want anyway. Um, so then all I need to do is kind of bring in the wheel. I'm going to place my wheel and kind of do the same thing I just did. So let me right click to rotate this around the, I think that looks like the Z axis. Yeah. And then I'm going to place it, right click, hit OK. I want to turn on the visibility of this center plane as well. So that's going to be the wheel, um, the origin. That's going to be the... I'm going to right click and turn on the visibility of this X and Z plane. And then I'm going to line these up. So I'll go to constrain. I'm going to click on this first mate here. Click on this plane. Click on this plane. Clunk some in. Hit apply. And so now you can kind of see that those are they're lined up with each other in the center. But I can still move this thing. You know, going crazy. Um, so let me constrain the center again, the center line here with the center line of this toilet paper cylinder thingy or axle. And then hit apply. And so now you can kind of see these are lined up. They're centered. Um, I can't move it up or down. I can't move it left or right, but I can still spin this. This wheel is still going to spin around in here. That's what we want it to do. So then just I'm going to go in and, and turn off the visibility of these planes that I have showing. And this one. Click on the home. Okay, then what I want to do is I'm going to go up to my view. Just kind of shadows, reflections. Um... Sharp highlights, that looks pretty good. So yeah, just make sure you save this. You can save it as wheel assembly, and then that'll be, that's our wheel assembly. I hope that helps. So yeah, come back next time. We'll, we'll figure out what we're gonna do next. So make sure you like and subscribe, tell all your friends, all right, peace out. And uh, yeah, if I don't see y'all, or talk to y'all before Christmas. Make sure you have a good Christmas and be safe. Eat lots of uh, good food. All right, peace.